Welcome back to DuckInAPot.com. Today we're making fettuccine alfredo. Our recipe isn't traditional. We're using chicken, pancetta, broccoli, and instead of butter or cream, we're using 2% milk. Our recipe serves 12, but you can adjust as necessary. We start by browning 16 ounces of diced pancetta, which we get in a carton from the grocery store, or you can buy and cut it yourself. You don't need oil to brown it. There's plenty of fat in the pancetta. Just brown it and then put it aside. Next, you dice six boneless, skinless chicken breasts into about one inch pieces, and then just dust them with flour, and then fry them till they're cooked through about 10 minutes. The flour will help thicken the milk for the sauce. Because our recipe is for 12, we're going to finish the recipe in a large pot. You don't have to if you're not cooking for that many. Now let's add the rest of our ingredients. Start by adding 10 freshly minced garlic cloves to the chicken. And then we're going to use salt. We use 5 teaspoons of smoked salt. You could use regular salt, but we like the taste the smoked salt gives. Now add four teaspoons of coarse ground pepper. And next we're gonna add our milk. We're using 2% reduced fat milk. We put in 12 cups. Then give it a good stir. Bring the heat to medium high let it come to a simmer, and that will help thicken the sauce. Now let's add the fettuccine. We're using fresh fettuccine, which cooks very fast in about two minutes. If you're not using fresh, just adjust the time accordingly. And last, we add our broccoli florets. Just add them and cook it for a few more minutes so they get nice and steamed and tender. There she is. Oh, we're getting it ready for you for Valentine's Day. No, oh, that's right. Today's Valentine's Day. Yeah, see Happy the guys Valentine's are cooking Day. for the lady. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. And my birthday. Happy birthday. What? Tomorrow or Friday. Oh, that's awesome. Are you 21 now? <laughs> Barely. Barely. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Yeah. And now to finish it off, you add two cups of grated Parmesan cheese. You could add it about a quarter cup at a time, add some cheese, mix it, let it melt, add some cheese, mix it, let it melt, till all two cups are incorporated in. And now you're ready to serve. Add some to your favorite pasta bowl. Top it with a little bit more grated Parmesan cheese, maybe some black pepper, and then add the pancetta on top. And maybe serve with a side of garlic bread. And that's it. That's the duck's version of fettuccine Alfredo. Try it, you're gonna really love it. That would be me. Okay. And we have a special guest today. Me. <laughs> me. And why, why are you here today, Leanne? Because I miss you guys. And where are you leaving to? Press mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Do you like it? Oh, I like it a lot. What Prescott Valley, Arizona. There you go. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh. That's how it works. All right, then, Mr. McKnight. It's all good. Let's see what kind of bite I want to take first. A little bit of everything? Nah, do the chicken first. Oh! Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Not too rich. A lot of flavor. Just right. Mmm, 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 mmm. 
Mamma Mia! <laughs> Excellent. I'm a connoisseur of this this dish, you know, from all over the world. I've had it, and I got to tell you, I think we might have a winner here. A masterpiece. Mmm. Yes. Bon appétit. <laughs> <laughs> Get a reservation for the chicken. So, all right, here we go. So, what, am I doing here? what are you doing there, corn? Trying to get the flavors in my mouth. There you go. Mmm. Sous chef corn. Mmm. Perfect. Perfect. I, I mean, all the way around. Right? Nice, yes. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs>